It's cost taxpayers $440 million, but the Murray Basin Rail Project has been dubbed a disaster that's achieved none of its expected benefits. Not even half finished, it's already run out of money, with a warning the entire state risks paying the price. Andrew Lund has the details. Crawling through the countryside, this train is taking Western Victoria's valuable fresh produce to market. But a project to revitalise the region's rail lines has veered badly off track. It's a disaster, yes. It's really unfortunate because it was a project that had promised so much. The $440 million Murray Basin Rail Project was a plan to convert the state's western rail lines from broad gauge to standard gauge, designed to increase capacity and help shift freight off roads. The problem we've got is they've got less than half the way through it, they've run out of money because they've botched it so badly. We were better off before the project started. Hundreds of kilometres of track have been relayed, but while the concrete sleepers are new, some of the steel rails are more than 100 years old. The 1913 date stamp, a clear giveaway. There has been uh, additional costs uh, as a result of uh, some deficiencies with the business case that was done by uh, uh, the previous state government. Issues with the track mean trains are often forced to slow to 25 kilometres an hour or less. The result is that on this section between Meribra and Ararat, the journey takes almost three times as long as it would by road. With just two of the five stages completed, the government's immediate priority has been rebuilding the line to Menangatang with a $23 million investment ahead of this year's harvest. The advice we received from V-Line was that if we didn't urgently address those works, the Menangatang line was at risk of closing. Victoria is in discussions with the federal government about how to salvage the rest of the scheme as the Auditor-General investigates how it went so wrong. For all intents and purposes, $440 million just down the drain. This is a problem for all Victorians. This isn't just a problem for regional Victoria. I mean, we're all in this together and if people don't like trucks on their, on their tollways and, and freeways and highways now, um, get ready, it's going to get a lot worse. They're hoping there's light at the end of the tunnel and that for once it is a freight train. Andrew Lund, Nine News.